Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Sasuke Uchiha back with another another video guys. As you can see, we are I am showcasing off my DDDs. Um I don't want to waste too much time, but let's jump straight into this file, shall we? Um I'm going to have to search up the first one because for some reason this is kind of awkward. It doesn't let me uh Okay, so the first monster that we run, as you can see, in accordance with that, is Destiny King Laplace. Uh, we actually use this one for its um, ability to take no damage and double its attack becomes double your opponent's monster's attack, which is obviously well. We, oh shoot guys, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we run three Ragnarok. Ragnarok is the main one of the main monsters that you always want to have. We run two Thomas for retrieving from our extra deck. Uh wait. We have one Vice Typhon. Guys, again, the only thing that kills this thing is the um is the adds. We have one Vice Typhon for another version of um of Necro. We have one Seven Newton because of the effect for the effect to activate the effect of uh for the activation of the effect of um of our Gilgamesh. We run our three Copernicus or Copernicus, however you want to say his name. It don't really matter. Our mill card one of our main mill cards, the one that we just mill from our deck. Um we actually run one Night Howl because if you actually run nine if you run this if you use this card correctly, you essentially get that ability to um to bring back a monster, a DD or DDD monster from your graveyard if it's properly normal summoned. We do run one DD ghost mainly because for its recycling effect, um, which is actually very, which is very good. I love its recycling effect. We do run three swirl slime for fusion summoning purposes alone. We run three necro slimes. I was gonna think, I was thinking about running only two. Or one but I was like you know what nah that, that wouldn't work we run three Lamia Lamia is like one of the main monsters that you always run want to see one of the main cards that you always want to have um, we do have the main uh, three Copernicus Copernicus is your search engine for your dark is the search for your dark contracts extremely effective and extremely good that's technically the entire monster lineup I know I'm not like clicking each and every one of them but like guys you can see by the um by the lining we do run three allure of darknesses for draw power just draw two banish one dark monster as you can see in the card effect um sorry about these ads that keep on popping up guys um that's that's just the freaking uh, app because i had to download this app we do use one for one mainly for bringing out our um our Kepler or Lamia really fast. Um, we run two part of desires for the for extra draw power. Foolish burial for milling our swirl slime and necro slime when need be. We do have part of inquisitiveness for bringing back our banished monsters, but only three and extra draw power. Three dark contract with the gates for for searching out your um your DD or DDD monsters that you require last spell of the deck we run of course dark contract with the swamp king so when you run out of the um, the DD vice typhon um, swirl slime and necro slimes abilities you actually have this card as backup just in case um, we do have dark contract with the eternal darkness for negating and for preventing your opponent from fusion synchro and exe summoning or tributing them or tribute summons so that actually does help out when trying to get rid of um, the problems of monarchs we have dark contract with the witch for popping effects and then of course uh, dark contract with the um, with errors because you know negate trap cards for the rest of the turn um, I'm gonna have to search up this next card because this it won't allow me to click it so Ragnar, Ragnar Rock, Ragnar. Oh 
my god guys I'm sorry about this this is actually really uh, sorry about that sorry about the background that's um <laughs> yeah no I'm sorry about that um we run one wave of Living King Caesar Ragnarok because you get to take your opponent's monster as material. Beowulf for extra XZ summoning material. We do run, um, of course, High Flame. One High Flame King Gang is for negations, for negation purposes. Um, Oracle King Dior is a must. You cannot run. You cannot run the deck without this. You cannot run the deck without this card. Um, of course, one gang is for special summoning. High, high Gus King Alexander for the same effect, special summoning. Uh, Crystal Wing because it's a main monster that you always want to run. Uh, Siegfried for negations like Crystal Wing. Alexander for bringing back your Lamia and, and any others that are there that you need to bring back. Your Kali Yuga for back row removal. Your um, Hope Harbinger for any effects that allow you to bring back other monsters. I mean, sorry, for negating monsters, spells, traps. We do run Saryuja for because you always want to link it with four monsters to actually draw four and place three at the bottom. Which is actually very, which is a very useful effect. We have um, Zephyr Metaltron mainly for that ability to... They stop your opponent from or clearing your board for more space and then of course clearing your opponent's board of pesky monsters. We have your um we have your uh Gilgamesh for setting up your pendulum scales upon link summoning. And then special summoning one DD monster from your deck or extra deck or graveyard, sorry. Which actually does help out. And then of course the final piece that we run. Sorry about that, um more more of these it's I know it kind of gets a little frustrating at some points um, come on I am terribly sorry about this guys okay and then we run link Kribo because why not you run three level one mo no n nine level one monsters and link Kribo is just so easy to get out and so effective well guys that's all for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys back here later